cancer-causing foods that you must avoid. This video aims to provide you with reliable information about cancer-causing foods, backed up by research from reputable sources such as the World Health Organization and Cancer Research UK, so that you can eat mindfully and understand the carcinogenic and anti-carcinogenic aspects of specific foods. Not only is it beneficial for your teeth and gut to eat the right foods and provide your body with the minerals and nutrients it needs, but it can also help lower your risk of developing some malignancies. The following are some of the cancer-causing foods that you must avoid. Number 1. According to the World Health Organization WHO, there is convincing evidence that processed meat causes cancer. It has been associated to colorectal and stomach cancers and is categorized as a group 1 carcinogen. Carcinogenic processed meats include frankfurter hot dogs, ham, sausages, corned beef, beef jerky, and canned or lunch meat. Alternative to processed meats are white fish, white meats such as chicken or turkey, or meat substitutes such as corn, tofu, or seton. Number 2. Red meat is classified as Group 2A, which means it's potentially harmful to humans, and it's only marginally healthier than processed meat. The strongest link between red meat consumption and cancer is colorectal cancer, while there is also evidence of links to pancreatic and prostate cancer. The Cancer Council suggests consuming no more than 65 to 100 grams of cooked red meat every week to reduce your cancer risk. Some evidence suggests that charred or burnt meat may increase the risk of cancer. Heterocyclic amines are produced when foods are blackened or charred at high temperatures. In animal testing, heterocyclic amines have been found to cause cancer. Human research, on the other hand, have varied results. Alternative to red meat are swap red meat for beans, pulses, white meat or fish. Number 3. Many of us enjoy a drink now and then, some more than others. On the other hand, medical advice suggests that you drink as little alcohol as possible. Alcohol is classified as a group 1 carcinogen, which means there is sufficient proof of its carcinogenicity in humans. Excessive alcohol consumption has been linked to cancers of the mouth, throat, esophagus, breast, liver, stomach, and intestine. The cancer risk associated with alcohol is assumed to be dose-dependent in several forms of cancer. That example, having a glass of wine with dinner every now and then isn't as bad as consuming a large amount of alcohol in one sitting. In reality, moderate red wine consumption has been linked to a lower overall mortality rate, as well as a lower risk of coronary heart disease and stroke, according to one study. Number 4. Salting is a traditional method of preserving food, particularly fish, in Southeast Asia and China. Unfortunately, this method of preservation creates carcinogenic byproducts, which can lead to cancer in humans. Chinese-style salted fish, like processed beef, is a group 1 carcinogen. Alternative to Chinese-style salted fish are fresh fish or seafood such as prawns, mussels or squid. Number 5. Obesity is a major risk factor for a range of cancers, thus maintaining a healthy weight is crucial. This can be achieved by eating a well-balanced diet that contains items from all food groups. When consumed on a regular basis, sugary drinks can cause weight gain and, in extreme situations, obesity. Number 6. Increased body fatness has been connected to a variety of cancers. According to the World Cancer Research Fund, limiting fast foods and other processed foods high in fat, carbohydrates, or sugars helps people consume fewer calories and maintain a healthy weight. Not only can removing or restricting carcinogenic foods from your diet help you maintain a healthy weight, improve your focus, and improve your general well-being, but it can also help you lose weight. Alternative to fast food or processed foods are homemade sandwiches on whole grain bread, sushi or salads.